Good morning, Tim. Hello is my nomination for Monroe. As a family member of an individual with special needs, one of the hardest things to do is to entrust the care of a loved one to another, indiv another individual. Wanting Greg to have as fulfilling and as independent life as possible, and yet still be involved in his life when he doesn't live with a family member can be tricky. Very tricky thing to manage. In my case, I'm often coordinating family get-togethers, doctor visits, or just a night out for dinner and a movie, and in some cases I can make those plans at the last minute. I bet you guys have to get last minute. <laughs> um, with Greg, to do any of this, I have to have someone at Greg's house that can be counted on to quickly respond to phone calls, emails, and text messages. Someone who can quickly coordinate with you and can be counted on to commit dates and times. Uh, Monroe is that type of person. Whether it's coordinating a doctor's appointment or a dinner with the family, I can count on Monroe to make sure Greg is ready to go when I arrive. It may sound a little trivial, but to me, this is key to maintaining the family connection. Since Monroe has started working at the house in the spring, we've developed a partnership that is based on communication. He is open and straightforward in his communication to the family, and likewise, he is open to our communication back. This type of communication only benefits Greg. Over the months, Monroe's communication has allowed me to understand Monroe's true passion for his work and his desire to make Greg as happy and well taken care of as possible. As Greg's medical needs grew, it has been important to have that link with Monroe sharing what he sees to help better understand what Greg's needs are. Um, I've developed a level of trust with Monroe. It makes those days when I don't see Greg a little easier because I believe the person that the family has entrusted his care to is truly doing what he believes is in Greg's best interest and is transparent about what is going on in Greg's life uh, with the family by keeping the lines of communication honest and open. Uh, I hope he sticks around for a long time. So. Um, first of all, thank you to all of you. Uh, this job is about heart. Uh, I've been directly involved with Greg's vocational and residential support for about 15 years. Uh, when I took over, my brother and I took over guardianship for my mother. And um, I know this job doesn't pay, and I know the rewards are about heart. So when we, when we get the opportunity to interview staff, I always say, you know, heart is 80% of the job. If I can get somebody with heart, the rest of it we can figure out. Uh, Monroe was a bonus because I saw the heart, and all the other stuff was there. There's nothing else to figure out. Uh, so just thank you. Keep on doing what you're doing. Um, and uh, those times where it's quiet and you don't think anybody's thanking you or seeing what you do or not appreciating what you do, realize that we are just sometimes. Vocal about it as we should. So thank you.